Hello, so dear grief, we're now going to try the second part of, well the second section shall we say, of the Hunter's Chorus Harp 1, okay? So what we're going to do is we've just done our... three on D and one on B and we're going to go three and put two on your G, B, G. Now this is a fun bit. You put four on D, two on B and one on high D and you're going to go D, B and then put two, three on C, A and go D, C, A. Okay, so it'll sound like this. D, B, D, C, A. It's quite fast. So how about we try that from the start? You're going to go D, G, three and one, D, So now what you can do is lovely and easy. Put one, two, three on DCA and go DCA and then do that again. DCA and then do that again. DCA. Okay. So let's try that entire section. We'll go from the DG and I'll count in. Ready, go. DG, three and one ready. D, B, G, 41 ready. D, B, DCA, DCA, DCA. Coolness is that basically just repeats. You put two on your G, G, then you go three and one on DB, D, two on your G, B, G, 41, D, B, D, C, A, D, C, A, D, C, A, D, C, A. Isn't that fantastic? All right. Now what you're going to do is one and three on B, G, and go B, put two on one on B, D, G, B, D, and then you do that another time. Put one on B, three on G, B, place back, G, B, D. Now you're going to put one and two on B, G and go B, and then you're going to do your two one trick, two one two trick, two one two. Okay, so try that. B, two one two, and then you're going to go hop up and you're going to do two on your B, two on your A. Right? So in rhythm, that'll sound like this. B, G, B, 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 A. Okay? Now, this is where we start talking about form. So basically, you should now see on your music a really cool double bar line, okay? And it's got a couple of extra dots beside it as well. And what that means is that you have to go back in the music and look for its buddy, okay? And you'll find that around bar 63, okay? At the start of bar 63, there's a very similar thing, except it's inverse. The dots are in the right of the bar line. And what the second bar line means is I want you to go back to the first double bar line and play from there until me again. So it means repeat, okay? So how about we try doing that all now, okay? So I'm gonna go from just the note before that double bar line in bar 63. I'm gonna have a two in my D and then one on G. Ready, go. D, G, three and one ready. D, B, G, 41 ready. Repeat it all. D, B, G, D, sorry, four, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, two, one, one, three, two, one, one, two, one, two, two, two. Now go back to your G. G, D, B, G, D, B, D, C, A, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You see the way there's a one and a line above it stretching across the next two bars? That means that that's the first ending. If you look at the two bars after that, i.e. the last two bars, you'll see that they have a two and a line stretching across them. And they're the second ending, okay? So what happens is when you get to that point, you skip the first two bars that have one written above them and instead you go to the second two bars that have two written above them and you play them. B, two, one, two. And then you just simply do two two on G G G G and you're done. Okay? Mahoo. So now we're gonna try the whole thing from the beginning. Okay? Here goes. One, two, three. D G two 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 one two two. Flip 
here at Beaver Den. Two, one, two. G, G, C, 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 A. Two and one. Two, one. B, B, C, B, B, A. B, A, G, A, B. G, G, B. B, B. One, two, two, two. One, two, three, two, two, two. two bars and skip ahead to the next two to, um, to finish okay so get that absolutely under the fingers and then let's proceed to the left hand Wahoo. 